to my channel. My name is Victoria and I'm currently losing weight using Optavia. This week I lost 2.8 pounds for a total of 114.4 pounds. I do want to let all of you know that I am not an Optavia coach. Everything that I share with you is my own personal weight loss journey. Today I'm going to share with you um, fuelings that come from Dr. A's Habits of Health book. They're not prepackaged fuelings, um, so they don't have all the vitamins, the daily vitamins or the probiotics. So I do make sure I have a built boost in the morning that has all the daily vitamins and I do take a probiotic. I did start my day off with an Optavia Rich Dark Chocolate Shake, but for the remainder of the day, all my feelings will come from his book. All right, I have Dr. A's book open to the feelings page. You can find it on page 278. I do wanna point out to you what it says in the sidebar. If you haven't reached your optimal weight yet, be sure to check the glycemic index of any snack before you choose it. So what I did is I made copies of these pages and I went through and circled the ones that would work on the five and one, which I am currently doing. Then I made up a grocery list and went shopping. I did work out everything that I'm eating for the day. So here are the Optavia parameters, calories 800 to 1000, fat 10 to 30 grams, protein 70 grams or more, and carbs less than 100. By the end of the day, I'll have consumed 887 calories, 30 grams of fat, 83 grams of protein, and 80 carbs. Ready for my second feeling of the day, and what I'm having is the bell pepper dipped in hummus. I'm doing mine a little differently. I'm having one and a half cups of bell pepper and two tablespoons of hummus. I'm ready for my second fueling. I do wanna let you know I'm getting my hair trimmed and colored later today. So this is why my hair is like this right now. Here are my bell peppers. And I am going to use this garlic hummus. It came in actually a variety of flavors. Here I have it in my little dish and I am going to try it out. I, if I don't like this, then I'm going to turn off the video and find something else to eat. I eat too little food during the day that I want to be able to like what I eat. I do know I like bell peppers. So here we go. Try yellow bell pepper. Mm. This is really good. I really like this a lot. And I'm eating real food. Yay! <laughs> Delicious. I'm gonna turn off the video, finish eating my fueling number two. Okay, time for my fueling. The next thing I'll have is yogurt, not with berries. He recommends you'll play light plain yogurt. I am going to use the light and fit. I'm trying two flavors, the coconut flavor, toasted coconut vanilla, that one of the ladies on Instagram said was her favorite, and then this seasonal one that's a caramel apple pie. Before I try out the yogurt, I did wanna tell you I love the peppers and the hummus. I had that, went and got my hair done, and I didn't even feel hungry. In fact, if I wasn't doing this video, I would probably have another serving of the peppers and the hummus. That's how much I liked it. So I'm gonna try the Tulsa Coconut Vanilla first. I like that. I did, um, several months ago for my fueling video, I had the cream brulee, but that was seasonal. They don't offer that any longer, but I really liked the cream brulee as well. And now I'm gonna try the caramel apple pie. That one's really good too. In fact, maybe what I'll do is I'll eat half of the caramel apple and half of the coconut. I think that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'll see you for my lean and green. 
For my lean and green, I'm having six ounces of Kevin's Korean barbecue style chicken, a half a cup of cottage cheese, and asparagus that I sprayed with avocado spray and um, put some of the Kinder's seasoning called the blend on top of that. And here's what the package of the Kevin's Korean barbecue style chicken looks like with the nutritionals. Next up, I'm going to have grilled portobello mushrooms sprinkled with cheese. And um, I also had some nuts, as you can see, there are a variety of nuts that we can have. All right, here are my mushrooms, two mushroom caps, and I sprinkled them with Italian spices and a half an ounce of mozzarella cheese. Now, I mentioned having some nuts. A few days ago, I got onto my Fitbit and I calculated everything that I was gonna have today. And I had to kind of work with it and play around with things and delete some things, add some things to make it work to fit within the Optavia macros. When I went back to look at it today, this was after I had my yogurt, I realized that I had never deleted this. I actually had an extra fueling, but I had it all calculated in. So I got a bonus fueling. I was so excited about this, but this is a 100 calorie pack of nuts. I did count them out. There's 21 almonds, they're quite small, um, but I did enjoy it. This has been a really great food day for me. So let me go ahead and try a bite of the mushroom with the mozzarella cheese. And that is really good. I really enjoy vegetables. In fact, I like vegetables more than I do fruit. So this has been really fun for me today. But I'll see you at the last fueling. Okay, I'm to the last fueling of the day. And here in Dr. A's book, he says one square of dark chocolate with five almonds. I'm going to have one square of a 78% dark chocolate with 14 pistachios. So I'm having a square of the lint dark chocolate. Here is what it looks like. And let's go ahead and give it a try. This is surprisingly good. I was really worried that it would be too bitter, but I really enjoy this. I was looking forward to having a treat tonight. I've had a lot of fun making this video. I hope you've enjoyed it too. And I hope all of you have a wonderful day and until next time.